Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 1. Or I suppose just Mass Effect. So, we're on our ship after some traumatic experiences. We still look like a moldy, gross potato. This is the Normandy. I think we've been introduced to that name. I don't remember. It's a pretty small ship. It gets bigger in the next game. Hey, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. When your number comes up, it's over. His did. Heartless. <laughs> Do you really believe yes. that, Commander? After what happened to you on Akuz? Are you saying you only survived because of random yeah. chance? Yeah. Akuz was a bloodbath. Even now, I don't know how I survived. I guess it just wasn't my time yet. With respect, sir, I think you had somebody watching over really? you. Really? You do? Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? Who would be watching over us? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're going to fit in here just I fine, really don't Williams. like Thanks, Ashley. Commander. We're not going to be dealing with her a whole lot. We're not going to have her in our party. Uh, th this may seem a trivial complaint, and it, it's possible that this is. Um, Ashley talks about God a lot. And, and to me, that just seems really strange. She doesn't say a lot. It may not be the Christian God. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic I doubt adventure. It. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoned. I think them. it's the rippling muscles What do you know about likes? Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind Psychosis. of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Okay. I should go. So Goodbye, we've, done, we've finished talking to Chakwas. She will be a character that we'll have Glad to see you're okay, for Commander. a long, long time. She'll be in all three games. There's Anderson. Go speak to Joker when you talk to ready. us. Tell him yeah, to uh, it may be a, a trivial complaint, but I, I find the idea of any of the modern religions surviving, you know, finding that there are fucking aliens... To be a little less than believable, but that could just be me. Not making any uh, any sweeping generalizations or statements about that. Just saying, I just see it being a little a little silly. But who knows? It's not my place. I play video games on the internet and work at a restaurant. I'm a theologian or anyone to have any comments on that. So we're just going to go talk to Joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. It's not hard to recognize that he's voiced by Seth Green. He's another character we'll be having throughout the entire series, so if you don't like Seth Green's voice, 
or his at voice acting or anything like that, well, buckle in because he's not going away. Same with Anderson. I forget the guy's name. I know he worked on Gargoyles back in the day, and I know that's probably a dating reference, uh, but I used to watch that as a kid growing up. And that's the Citadel. Cutscenes are really loud. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. It's got firepower. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Or is it? Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. The... Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. The Citadel's, like, the, the galactic hub is the center of, of galactic government. And the cutscenes are super freaking loud. I don't know, even know if I'll be able to shout over it. But I'm actually talking pretty loud. But yeah, this is just an interior shot of... This is an outrage! Oh God, he's so loud. The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian oh, colony! Up. Udina the dick. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. <laughs> Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not going to sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy oh, for the Spectres. Up. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was mm -hmm. destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out That's of the all Spectres. You care about. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. They hate you too, Ashley. In fact, everyone hates you. So this is just a map. I don't know why I did that. Let's see if I could... Okay. Of the area. It's not a very big area. Uh, going, she's going, going from, begin over, manual override, going from Mass Effect 3 to Mass Effect Lance Patrol Report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argus Road Cluster. She had particular concern about the Hydra system, but was recalled before the team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recut? So I believe that's a quest. I forget how the quest layout goes in Mass Effect 1, but I'm pretty sure you just pick them up. So the two, uh, this is... I understand what you're Here we go. saying. The... Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari Consort? 
She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Okay, so let's see if I can... Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you. Earth Probably. Clan. But Tell me about we'll Volus do this culture. Anyway. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Sounds great. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. So I'll do the history too? Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. So they're basically... I really hate to say this, but... Space Jews. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great Spies favor. better than you. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. So we'll talk... What is this it is a lot of talking. Here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are oh, overlooked boo by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Din. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species He's actually will. right about that. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. We'll talk to the Elcor. Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slow That's movements. disgusting. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. It's true. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really Shut care about up, our ways. Shut up, you get on a flight of stairs. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. 
I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space. This is why battle. they're not part of the Our council. society is built on small, tight knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Oh, very nice. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. And we'll do this one. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care Shut about our races. Shut the fuck up! Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Din. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived and suspicions. And we're going to leave now. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. This is a keeper. We'll get a quest about them later. I don't actually know how I'm going to split up episodes. With, with Dragon Age, I have a pretty good idea. So we do have... Unusual readings, which we did get. Uh, we didn't get a quest for the Elcor having problems with the. I just forgot her name. The consort, basically. Welcome to the Presidium. This is a Salarian. We can get our. Receptionist Good day, here. Commander. The human ambassadors up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable I'm a people. dignitary! What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends I'll to be I'll leave busy. you alone. I should be going now. Have a pleasant So that's day. an Asari. There's not a whole lot of species in the... I almost said Dragon Age in the, in the Mass Effect world. Humans, Asari, Volus, Elcor, Salarian, and Turian. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. So we're just gonna pick up some needed XP. There's a couple other. Humans. There's a couple other species we'll meet. I don't think we'll be seeing them in this game. But yeah, the the selection of species pretty low. It's not necessarily a chastisement. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Something like that. Uh, never mind, forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. He's pretty yet. smart, really. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving well, details damn, we about gave it ongoing a investigations. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? Against? I can't abide any organization that considers itself a well, law. law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my okay, job, okay. not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are You didn't are say that! There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. 
But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres He never do. said that, anyway. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the like dirty Mike jobs. Like Mike Rowe. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. That. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy I needs? I don't think so. But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. So we'll get C -Sec Tell me about done and then we'll go. provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. I don't begrudge this guy his job, really. Let's see if he's got any goodies. I know there's a lot of a lot of talking in this episode, but it's really important to, to get the lore and all that. Uh, a Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. The following message was transmitted from an invisible account to multiple recipients across the extranet, which is like the internet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, we have you have been selected to receive th this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, few or even tolerate us. You must we must stand together, we must build on our own new world. Come join us on the Hawking Ata Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. So that's another quest. I'm going to try to do as many quests as I can. The higher level we are, the more goodies we get when we transfer Vase here over to Mass Effect 2, which will be a long time from now. This place seems strange. Don't believe the rumors. Ah, oh, the console. What do you right. want? Oh, Commander. Did I Is there the something console? I can do I for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right. Sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to Shut get Shut the too fuck up, trouble. Ashley. I will. Have fun, that is. Really, my least favorite character in this series. You're gonna talk to Nassana? I don't have time to talk now. We'll I'm get to busy. talk to her later. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest This nearby? is important. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies, not much going on here. this table. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, she you still the will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. We'll talk about entertainment. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Goodbye. Well, the, that's kind of an impersonal so long, greeting, Commander. really. Have a pleasant day. So, there will be a quest later on to get these weird little prey mantis creatures. This is going to be a longer video because there's just been a lot of talking. Um, again, I think it's really important that we do this. If you watch my Dragon Age series, you know I think lore is important. Excuse me, uh, especially in Bioware games. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your... Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. 
I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC Which we've already seen. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. That's another species I forgot. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using so Vina. A, Please enjoy well, your visit to a the A VI Citadel. is different than an AI. VI have no consciousness, where AI have consciousnesses and all that. So this will take us down to the CSEC offices and all that. We're just going to do a little bit of wandering. Because I... That's a Krogan over there statue, not uh, anything too important. There's a couple other quests we can pick up. This is going to be a longer episode. I actually may keep these pretty long because there's going to be a lot of talking, especially in the early episodes. And again, I've apologized for that several times, but I feel the, the need to repeat myself on that point. So... Here is a nice view. Of course, the sky is simu simulated. This will take us up to the tower. There's another keeper. And this will get us to the ward. Sorry, not the tower. That is a Mass Effect beacon. Another keeper. Just doing a little bit of travel, and then uh, we'll end the video. Avina is over here too. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. Ooh, a little bit of slowdown there. That's to the tower. This is a huge map. No one it's not a wonder. It's very pretty. Hmm. I think kind of reminiscent of Halo. The Halo ring itself, not necessarily the game Halo. This game has Little to no similarities between that game, or that series of games, sorry, there is there is four of them. So we're, we we actually loaded because, I guess this is probably one of the largest maps in the game. We'll go to the wards later. We can talk to Bar Levon. We'll do that in the next episode because it's already approaching 30 minutes and I don't want to. Uh, oh yes, and the Hanar. There's actually quite a few species I know I said there wasn't, but... I keep forgetting the minor species that are in the game. They're kind of just background. You'll never really see Volus or Elcor in war, at least not in the first game. I don't know anything about 3. I'm not going to make any judgment calls on 3. Uh, keepers really aren't their own species, and that will become apparent later on. And we're just kind of traveling. Just getting a nice view. That's nothing. I've had my office rearranged five times now. Five times? But why? What do they want? How should I know? <laughs> it's not like keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing. And yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces it. It's just strange that we know so little about them. Not to mention frustrating. So that kind of gives us a view of the keepers. This is the consort. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? 
Mm. I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many yeah. who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in, um, three or four months. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for I'm each. I'm being cryptic some because seek I her think for advice, fun. some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. If you get what I mean. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and mm -hmm. a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see I've for yourself. I've made an appointment. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Melina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. So we are actually are going to... Yes, of course, mistress. ...end it here. We will go speak to the consort. What would a uh, space game be without blue chicks with big breasts? Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. What does she want I to see me click for? On that. I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Okay. We will do that. So I'm going to save, as always, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.